Webflow layouts are broken. When users double their font size, no text should overflow to pass accessibility requirements. Because Webflow breakpoints are set with pixels, our layouts don't wrap when the font size increases. In recent videos, I've shown how to build entire websites without Webflow breakpoints so that elements respond to the space they have instead of responding to a set screen size. But many of you have asked for an even easier way to build breakpointless layouts without writing custom code each time. So in this video, we'll look at a brand new technique that helps us do exactly that. Now, previously to choose when a layout should wrap, we'd have to use custom code or separate classes like grid desktop, grid tablet, and grid mobile. This made it hard to build a responsive system though, because any responsive classes we had would need to be recreated for each breakpoint we want to support. But now we can just use one class and we can choose to apply our grid either above our breakpoint or below our breakpoint. And this one class can work with any different breakpoints. So we'll switch this over to a two column grid and to choose when this layout wraps, we just head over to our container. So on the container, its default container name is threshold large for all of our containers. And that means the layout's gonna wrap almost right away. So we'll notice as soon as we start bringing our screen size in, the layout stacks here. But if we want these elements to stay side by side for longer, we can switch our container over to threshold medium, or we can say threshold small. And once we have this set, that means the layout's going to stay uh, like it was for longer. And here it's uh, much longer before the layout eventually wraps right there. So that means we can use other classes and with those same breakpoints. Let's say we have this content here and we have a reversed variant and we want to go ahead and set the order on this to move it behind the other items like so, or it could have started that way and we're pulling it in front either way. Uh, we want to be able to clear that order whenever the layout wraps so that the text goes back on top. Now to do this, we can use an order and we can say unset the order either above our breakpoint or we unset our order below the breakpoint. And this can, I'm gonna say below. So that means the order that we applied to this variant will stay in place until our layout wraps and then we unset that order and it goes back to the top. Now let's say we want to do other things uh, to this text besides just its order. So maybe we wanna have some top and bottom padding so it doesn't touch the top of the image. And we could add that in right here but we're gonna to wanna to be able to clear out that padding whenever the layout wraps so that we don't have all this extra space. And we'll also want to be able to clear out the order for our reversed variant. So to do that, we can actually use all unset and this will unset all styles we applied to this element, either above the breakpoint or below the breakpoint. I'll go up below in this case. So what we'll notice is that the reversed um, order that we applied should get unset and also this top and bottom padding should get unset. As soon as we cross below the breakpoint, all those styles are unset for us. Now we can uh, use those classes and choose when they're gonna wrap. If at any point we need to change that, we just go ahead and switch on our container. We can switch this to something like medium and then all of the order utilities, grid utilities, whatever we're using are just gonna wrap at that medium point instead of at the small point. And if we wanna choose what those values are exactly inside our custom code in the base embed, we'll notice that we have our threshold large set to 62M, medium is 48M, and threshold small is 30M. And so let's say we wanted to add a new utility, maybe to unset the width or even set the width to full. So we would always start with what the actual property is. So in this case, it would be width. And then we set the value. In this case, it's gonna be full. And then we set the position. In this case, it's gonna be above. So whenever we're above the breakpoint, we wanna set the width to full. And in this case, we would just say width 100%. We'd throw important on there so it can override any variance. And then we just copy the three styles and apply them to each of the large breakpoints, whether it's the medium or whether it's the small one here. And then we would create the opposite version of this with full class. So in here, I would say whenever the uh, with full below, so we have an option to apply it to smaller breakpoints that would set the width to 100% when below 
the threshold large. And we just copy that and we do the same thing for the medium version and for the small version. And so we can change these points. We can add new classes as we need. And if we want to do something custom based on these points, we can still do that in a section specific embed. If we want to um, do something that's not supported by these classes out of the box, but these classes can support uh, the majority of use cases we need, especially with that unset all to unset things like display properties or margins or paddings or whatever we're trying to apply to only a certain breakpoint. If you'd like to learn more about building without breakpoints, check out this next tutorial.